Off to the vet after members of the public called Doc to report a penguin near Dunedin's hot salt water pool. This Fiordland crested penguin had suffered a minor injury worthy of a veterinary checkup. Yes, yeah, so we're always a little bit concerned when we come across any penguin in a really public area, um, particularly coming into the molting season. They need to survive anywhere from two to four weeks um, on land, changing their feathers for new ones. And if they're in highly stressed, uh, highly public areas, then they're not likely to survive that month of starvation. Reid says the people who called in about the penguin did exactly the right thing, as both injured and molting penguins can be very vulnerable if they're resting in busy areas. The interesting factor with this guy was that he also had a superficial wound on his abdomen so we've taken him to the wildlife hospital for a checkup, and then if everything's okay he'll go off to our rehabber on the Otago Peninsula penguin place. She's encouraging the public to keep reporting any penguins that appear distressed or seem vulnerable in public places and to take some snaps of the bird as well. If they can get some photos that's often really helpful because we can start to identify the species of penguin and whether there might be any um, injuries um, or if they're severely underweight or anything like that. Fjordland crested penguins are classified as being vulnerable to extinction with only a few thousand breeding pairs existing and their population in decline. In Dunedin, for the South Today.